Hi folks, I'm Brad Pearson. I work at Caterpillar in the repair process engineering team. I am an engine development engineer and I have focused on reuse and salvage for CAD engines. I um, want to talk to you today about some things to consider when rebuilding or reconditioning your CAT on highway truck engine. In this video, we're going to talk through inspecting your liners and lower counter bore before performing a liner projection measurement. Before this step though, you should make sure you have already performed a thorough top deck inspection on your block. You can check out our other video on the top deck inspection if you have not already. So after you've performed your top deck inspection, it's time to remove and inspect the liners. When removing liners, utilize a liner removal tool. You do not want to use a hammer to get these things out. Use the proper tools, it'll save you later. It's important to inspect the liner surfaces for any erosion or cavitation. You will find cavitation when you haven't been using coolant with the proper additives or liners that have been moving around too much inside the block during operation. A liner can be moving too much if the liner projection was not within specifications or if the clamping force on the liner was not enough to prevent it from moving around. Here's a good example of what you should be looking for. After visual inspection of the liners is performed, you need to now inspect the lower counter bore surface for pitting and erosion. This will develop near the lower liner seal. This image shows what cavitation wear will look like. The block we have here is a good example with no pitting or erosion on the lower counter bore. It can be used as is. This next one shows a good example of pitting on the lower liner bore. Depending on how bad the erosion or pitting on the lower counter bore is, you may need to epoxy or machine the eroded area to smooth out the surface. Without the smooth surface, you will get leaks into your oil pan area. You also want the lower counter bore area smooth to minimize movement of the liner. Once all this has been inspected and addressed, you're ready to move on and measure liner projection. As a reminder, all these items are checked and to spec on all CAT Reman products when purchasing a Reman product from your local authorized CAT dealer. If a brand new block, crankshaft, or head is what you need, check out our new replacement lawn block option. For more information, contact your local authorized CAT dealer or go to cattruckengines.com.